Welcome to the family! Hey guys, this is McGann with a flashback to my young adulthood with Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. This is from Limited Run Games. It's their big collector set. It's for the Nintendo Switch. And let's get in here and see what we've got. But first, we're going to rip off the plastic and check out the external art because it is always good to appreciate all the work people put into these things. This one did not have a card in the shipping box. I don't know if there'll be a card in here, but I, I don't know. I don't know if every game is supposed to come with a card. I thought they were, but that has not so far been my experience. And, oh, that's neat. Honestly, I love the Oddworld games. I think they are so interesting and creative, and I thought Stranger's Wrath was uh, especially different. But let's get in. Oh, okay. We have got... Oh, Lord. It's been too long for me to remember what these are called. Does it squeak? It has some kind of gear. There's something hard in there. I feel like it does something, but it's... Oh, there it went. Wow, it's just like being back in the early 2000s. They had these type of products everywhere. I am not sure that I love the quality of this hair. As you might be able to see, there's all kinds of itty bitty gritty things that are already stuck in it fresh out of the box. And it definitely looks like the type of thing that's going to mat and be an issue. So um, I feel like they could have made a better decision on that fur. But uh, for what it is, I guess it's fun. <laughs> and for my case, it'll probably sit in a box for a very long time. Um, oh, okay. That was the end of what was in there. He just had a little pedestal here. Let's see, does this come out? Doesn't feel like it comes out. So let's just take out what we can. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do. Okay, music from Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. And I know Limited Run's whole thing is bringing back a uh, retro type of stuff. So I think the CD is a cute touch. It's a, it's a neat bonus touch. There's the art behind there. But yeah, I can't even find a car anymore that has a CD player. So it's kind of sad. That was the height of being cool when I was a kid, as if your car had a CD player. And people who are going to jump in the comments, being 16 and able to drive isn't a kid. Like... Dude, it is when you're my age. And we have art cards by the looks of it. Let's check the back. Yes, there is no line and no postage stamp spot. So that makes it an art card. Got a poster I'll hang up here to show. Usually limited run games does uh, double-sided posters, but not in this case. I don't know if they didn't have high hopes for Stranger's Wrath or what happened. But uh, it does look like a pretty cool scene. It's not just a reprint of the box art, which is nice. Oh my gosh, though, I have so many games I need to sit down and play that have come in, and I just haven't had the time to sit down and play. And then finally, our game here... We'll check out the back here for just a second. It looks like they, yeah, HD. They obviously remastered it then. Oh, no manual? Okay, I, I have to say, for how much this cost, which was comparable to the Shantae's and the Episode 1 Racer and the Monkey Skull Island, I think that's the right title, <laughs> the Stranger's Wrath set seems to really be skimping. Like, there's no card, there's no coin, the poster isn't double-sided, there's no manual. This guy is, you know, he's neat enough, but he... <sighs> I think the material they chose for his fur was a really bad decision. The art cards, they're pretty, they're nice, but they're not really something that is gonna sell me and neither is the CD per se. And I kind of just grabbed this last minute as I was checking out with Shantae stuff already. So I really bought because I recognized the title and not because I was like, oh, I love everything that's in the set. I don't think I checked that out close enough, obviously. But compared to all of the other collector sets I've gotten from Limited Run Games, 
games, this one is kind of disappointing for the price. Like there's really no collectible bits, no keychain, no coin, no pin. I mean, yeah, the soundtrack's neat. That's not something you see super often, but again, again, I don't have anywhere to play it anyways. And yeah, the art cards are technically a collectible, but they're more of a sit in a box collectible. You can't really display them. The poster being horizontal is kind of awkward for wall space in my situation. So, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna hope that the remastered version of the game is worth the ticket price for the whole thing. But uh, yeah, if I had it to do over again, I would just buy the game. Anyways, I guess thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Before you go, if you enjoyed, don't forget to follow us and look for more of our content. And if you're really dedicated, there's a link to sign up for our newsletter in the description below so that you'll stay in the loop for future videos and projects. Also, please check out The Fangirl, where I talk about all kinds of movies, shows, and even games and comics. Well, that's about it, so see you next time, family members!